afternoon, everybody. This is Brother Brandon coming to you live from Fayetteville, Arkansas, with another daily Bible reading. If you have your Bibles, turn with me to Joshua chapter 4, and we will pick up from where we left off. <coughs> Joshua chapter 4. And it came to pass, when all the people were clean, passed over Jordan, that the Lord spake unto Joshua, saying, Take you twelve men out of the people of out of every tribe a man, and command ye them, saying, Take you hence out of the midst of Jordan, out of the place where the priest's feet stood firm, twelve stones, and ye shall carry them over with you, and leave them in the lodging place, where ye shall lodge this night. Then Joshua called the twelve men, whom he had prepared of the children of Israel, out of every tribe a man. And Joshua said unto them, Pass over before the ark of the Lord your God into the midst of Jordan, and take you up every man of you a stone upon his shoulders, uh, upon his shoulder, according to unto the number of the tribes of the children of Israel, that this may be a sign among you, that when your children ask their fathers in time to come, saying, What mean ye by these stones? Then ye shall answer them, that the waters of Jordan were cut off before the Ark of the Covenant of the Lord when it passed over Jordan. The waters of Jordan were cut off, and these stones shall be a memorial unto the children of Israel forever. <coughs> and the children of Israel did so as Joshua commanded, and took up twelve stones out of the midst of Jordan, as the Lord spake unto Joshua, according to the number of the tribes, of the children of Israel, and carried them over with them onto the place where they lodged, and laid them down there. And Joshua set up twelve stones in the midst of Jordan, and the place where the feet of the priests, which bear the Ark of the Covenant, stood. And they were there unto this day. For the priests which bear the Ark stood in the midst of Jordan until everything was finished, that the Lord commanded Joshua to speak unto the people according to all that Moses commanded Joshua, and the people hasted and passed over. And it came to pass, when all the people were clean passed over, that the ark of the Lord passed over, and the priests in the presence of the people, and the children of Reuben, and the children of Gad, and half, and half, and half the tribe of Manasseh passed over, armed before the children of Israel, as Moses spake unto them. About 40,000 prepared for war passed over before the Lord unto battle to the plains of Jericho. On that day the Lord magnified Joshua in the sight of all Israel, and they feared him as they feared Moses all the days of his life. And the Lord spake unto Joshua, saying, Command the priests that bear the ark of the testimony that they come up out of Jordan. Joshua therefore commanded the priests, saying, Come ye up, up up out of Jordan. And it came to pass when the priests that bear the Ark of the Covenant of the Lord were come up out of the midst of Jordan. And the soles of the priests' feet were lifted up onto the dry land, that the waters of Jordan returned unto their place, and flowed over all his banks, as they did before. And the people came up out of Jordan on the tenth day of the first month, and encamped in Gil and Gilgal, and the east border of Jericho. <clears throat> and these and those twelve stones which they took out of Jordan did Joshua pitch in Gilgal. And he spake unto the children of Israel, saying, When your when your children shall ask their fathers in time to come, saying, What mean these stones? Then ye shall let your children know, saying, Israel came over this Jordan on dry land. For the Lord your God dried up the waters of Jordan from before you until you were passed over, as the Lord your God did to the Red Sea when he dried up from before us until we were gone over, that all the people of the earth might know the hand of the Lord that is mighty, that ye might fear the Lord your God forever. <coughs> Joshua chapter 5. And it came to pass, when all the kings of the Amorites, which were on the side Jordan westward, and all the kings of the Canaanites, 
which were by the sea heard that the Lord had dried up the waters of Jordan from before the children of Israel until we were passed over, that their heart melted, neither was their spirit in them any more because of the children of Israel. At that time, the Lord said unto Joshua, Make these sharp knives and circumcise again the children of Israel a second time. <coughs> and Joshua made him sharp knives and circumcised the children of Israel at the hill of their foreskins. And this is the cause why Joshua did circumcise all the people that came out of Egypt that were males, even all the men of war, died in the wilderness by the way after they came out of Egypt. Now all the people that came out were circumcised, but all the people that were born in the wilderness of, by the way, as they came forth out of Egypt, that they had not circumcised. For the children of Israel walked forty years in the wilderness, till all the people that were men of war, which came out, out of Egypt, were consumed, because they obeyed not the voice of the Lord unto whom the Lord swear that he would not shew them the land which the Lord swear unto their fathers, that he would give us a land that floweth with milk and honey. <coughs> and their children, whom raised up in their stead, them Joshua circumcised, for they were uncircumcised, because they had not cir circumcised them by the way. And it came to pass when they had done circumcising all the people, that they abode in their places in the camp till they were whole. And the Lord said unto Joshua, This day have I rolled away the reproach of Egypt from off you. Wherefore the name of the place is called Gilgal unto this day. And the children of Israel encamped in Gilgal and kept the Passover on the fourteenth day of the month that even in the plains of Jericho. <coughs> and, then, and they did eat of the old corn of the land on the morrow after the Passover, unleavened cakes and parched corn in the self same day. And the manna ceased on the morrow after they had eaten of the old corn of the land. Neither had the children of Israel manna any more. But they did eat of the fruit of the land of Canaan that year. And it came to pass when Joshua was by Jericho, that he lifted up his eyes and looked, and behold, there stood a man over against him with his sword drawn in his hand. And Joshua went, went unto him and said unto him, Art thou for us or for our adversaries? And he said, Nay, but as captain of the host of the Lord am I now come. And Joshua fell on his face to the earth, and did worship, and said unto him, What saith my Lord unto his servant? And the captain of the Lord's host said unto Joshua, Loose thy shoe from off thy foot, for the place whereon thou standest is holy. And Joshua did so. <coughs> Joshua chapter 6 now Jericho was strictly shut up because of the children of Israel. None went out and none came in. And the Lord said unto Joshua, See, I have given into thine hand Jericho and the king thereof and all and the mighty men of valor. And ye shall compass the city, all ye men of war, and go round about the city once. Thus shalt do, thus shall thou do six days. And seven priests shall bear before the ark seven trumpets of ram's horns. And on the seventh day ye shall compass the city seven times. And the priests shall blow with the trumpets. And it shall come to pass that when they make a long blast with the ram's horn. <clears throat> and when ye hear the people sound of the trumpet, all the people shall shout with a great shout. And the wall of the city shall fall down flat, and the people shall ascend up, every man straight before him. And Joshua the son of Nun called the priests, and said unto them, Take up the ark of the covenant, and let seven priests bear seven trumpets of ram's horns before the ark of the Lord. And he said unto the people, 
pass on, encompass the city, and let him that is armed pass on before the ark of the Lord. <coughs> and it came to pass, when Joshua had spoken unto all the people, that the seven priests bearing the seven trumpets of ram's horns passed on before the Lord, and blew with the trumpets, and the ark of the covenant of the Lord followed them. And the armed men went before the priest that blew with the trumpets. And the re reward came uh, came after the ark, the priest going on and blowing with the trumpets. And Joshua had commanded the people, saying, Ye shall not shout nor make any noise with your voice, neither shall any word proceed out of your mouth until the day I bid you shout. Then shall ye shout. So the ark of the Lord compassed the city going about at once. And they came into the camp and lodged in the camp. And Joshua rose up, rose, and Joshua rose early in the morning. And the priest took up the ark of the Lord. And seven priests bearing seven trumpets of ram's horns before the ark of the Lord went on continually and blew with trumpets. And the armed men went before them. But the re-reward came after the ark of the Lord, the priests going on and blowing with the trumpets. <coughs> and the second day they compassed the city once and returned into the camp. So they did six days. And it came to pass on the seventh day that they rose up early about the dawning of the day <coughs> and compassed the city after the same manner seven times. Only on that day they compassed the city seven times. And it came to pass at the seventh time when the, police, when the priests blew with the trumpets, Joshua said unto the people, Shout, for the Lord hath given you the city. And the Lord and and the city shall be accursed, even it, and all that are therein to the Lord. Only Rahab the harlot shall live; she and all that are in all that are with her in the house, because she hid the messengers that we sent. And ye in any wise keep yourselves from the accursed thing lest ye make yourselves accursed. Then, when ye take of the accursed thing, and make the camp of Israel accursed, and trouble it. But all the silver and gold, and vessels of brass and iron, are consecrated unto the Lord. They shall come into the treasury of the Lord. So the people shouted, when the priests blew with trumpets. And it came to pass, when the people heard the sound of the trumpets, and the people shouted with a great shout, that the wall fell down flat, so that the people went up into the city, every man straight before him, and they took the city, and they utterly destroyed all that was in the city, both man and woman, young and old, and ox and sheep and ass, with the edge of the sword. But Joshua had said unto the two men that had spied out the country, Go into the harlot's house, and bring out thence the woman, and all that she hath, as ye swear unto her. And the woman... And the young and the young men that were spies went in and brought out Rahab <coughs> and her father and her mother and her brethren and all that she had, and they brought out all kindred all her kindred, and left them without the camp of Israel. And they burnt the city with fire, and all that there was and all that was therein. Only the silver and the gold and the vessels of brass and iron they put into the treasury of the house of the Lord. And Joshua saved Rahab the harlot alive and her, and her father's household and all that she had. And she dwelleth in Israel even unto this day, because she hid the messengers which Joshua sent to spy out Jericho. And Joshua adjourned them at that time, saying, Cursed be the man before the Lord that riseth up and buildeth this city Jericho, he shall lay the foundation thereof in his firstborn. He he shall lay the foundation thereof in his firstborn and his youngest and in his youngest son shall he set up the gates of it. So the Lord was with Joshua 
and his fame was noised throughout all the country. All right, guys, that's going to be it for now. Um, <clears throat> we will pick up there next time in Joshua chapter 7. Hopefully this is a blessing to you. Uh, please keep me in prayer. Please keep my ministry in prayer. And please keep the preaching of the word in prayer. Uh, pray that God will take these videos and do with them as he pleases. And uh, with that said, that's going to be it for now. God bless you. I love you guys. We'll see you in the next one. See ya. Bye.